The overall purpose of the research we're conducting is to develop uh, models for assessing PM control strategies and take the information that we generate by conducting laboratory experiments and field studies to put together a model which we then can give to the people in the Office of Air and Radiation to develop and evaluate control strategies for reducing the adverse health effects due to exposure to ambient PM 2.5. Particulate matter is a mixture of microscopic solids and liquid droplets. PM 2.5 are fine particles that measure 2.5 microns or smaller in diameter, such as those commonly found in smoke and haze. Fine particles can lodge deep in the lungs and even in the bloodstream, causing respiratory and cardiovascular problems. We need to look for all the major sources of secondary PM, that is, a whole range of biogenic and man-made gases develop fingerprints for all of them, and then go out in the field and see which one of them we see occurring in the field. And the results we've conducted to date uh, suggest that we've been fairly successful because ultimately our goal is not to hand uh, the EPA regulators a fingerprint. We want to hand them a model, which is a product, which they can use to determine if they reduce the emissions of these gases by a certain amount what is that going to do for the particulate matter concentrations? And that's our objective. Our field study involves taking a filter packs out into the field and drawing air across them over a day or two and then collecting the sample on the filter, which is something we do when we collect our laboratory samples. Then we take these uh, filters back into the laboratory and we analyze them for the compounds that make up our fingerprint. In the smog chamber, we're first taking a variety of gases and we're irradiating them under conditions typical of, at, of the atmosphere and seeing, one, are we obtaining particles? The reason why the particulate matter is so, is so complicated is even when you're dealing with a single gas, it can undergo not just one type of reaction, but a variety of reactions, all leading to different compounds, and all of them, in principle, may form particulate matter. So the particular matter you get from a single gas can contain hundreds to thousands of compounds. So this is a very difficult analytical challenge for us to address. People have asked me about what part of my research I find the most exciting. And the simple fact is I find all of them very exciting. We're looking at systems that other people and most other scientists have not looked at. We're looking at the system that's been given to us uh, in the atmosphere. It is highly complex. It is not an isolated system. So our challenge is to make sense out of this mess.